my name is Sophia B and I am the public speaking teacher for the Paying Summer Camp and for the past five weeks these kids have been learning about voice, about gestures, about facial expressions and about a variety of things relating to public speaking. Public speaking is so important to every aspect of life and I think that these kids have learned so much from this camp. A cloud forest is a rare type of rainforest found on high mountains in the tropics. Mist and fog cover the slopes either seasonally or year-round and the plants that grow there draw their moisture directly from these clouds in a process called horizontal precipitation. Horizontal precipitation can provide up to half the water a cloud forest needs to thrive, even during the dry season. Cloud forests can be found all around the world, including in Central America, Southern Mexico, South America, Southeast Asia, Africa, and certain islands in the South Pacific. All are packed with a wide variety of plant life, so packed that there's big competition for growing space. Much of the vegetation consists of, of epiphytes, which are plants that grow on other plants but don't feed off them. Instead, epiphytes, such as orchids, mosses, and lichens, draw nutrients from the air, the, the rain, and occasionally from organic debris around them. These wet forests are also, also provide shelter for many different types of animals, ranging from insects and reptiles to many types of birds, monkeys, rodents, and even big cats. Some animals are only found in cloud forests. In 2013, scientists announced the discovery of a new mammal species called the Olinguito, which are tiny tree dwellers that live in the cloud forests of Ecuador and Colombia. Cloud forests are important due to their biodiversity or wide range of plant and animal life. Their sensitivity makes them useful for studying climate change, but that same sensitivity also makes it hard for cloud forests to bounce back when disturbed. In fact, cloud forests are disappearing at a slightly higher rate than normal rainforests. Threatened by commercial logging, ecologically insensitive tourism, illegal development, and other factors. It, it will take a lot of effort by local communities and governments to preserve these special places.